Did he do it? He absolutely did. This comes up from Fox. New Diddy allegations involve nine-year-old boy, pregnant woman, says attorney. And according to what I heard, there's an additional 120 allegations with Diddler on the roof. Attorneys for more than 100 alleged victims of Sean Diddy Combs shared claims of rape, sexual assault, and sexual exploitation against him and other alleged perpetrators. The cases against Combs include allegations of violent sexual assault and rape, a facilitation of drugs, false imprisonment, and sexual abuse of minors, including allegations involving a nine-year-old boy who was allegedly allegedly auditioning for bad boy records prior to the assault. This is, did he do it or didn't he? Oh, motherfucking absolutely did it. He definitely did it. Holy crap, man. That's crazy. It's all the same theme and it all involves some sort of drug. Lead counsel Tony Busby with the Busby Law Firm and Ava Law Group says that many of the alleged assault victims tested positive for, uh, is it xylazine? Z yeah, xylazine, a horse tranquilizer known as Trank, and noted that most cases, they were pressured to consume spiked drinks. Oh my God, man. This guy is a... Freaking monster. The admission to his party was that you had to drink this chosen drink that was handed to you. Let that sink in for a minute. According to Busby, the following allegations has been thoroughly corro corroborated, vetted, and supported by collected evidence for lawsuits against Sean Diddy Combs. Diddy was, has not been criminally charged in connection with any of the allegations outlined. All parties are presumed innocent until proven guilty. Nine-year-old boy allegedly sexually assaulted while auditioning for Bad Boy Records. Man, look, look, here's the thing. Do you remember, like, 10 years, 12 years ago, when Justin Bieber came out? We're like, oh, yeah, that guy's gay. Yo, hey, yo, Justin Bieber, oh, he's super gay. Oh, yo, I feel just a little bit bad. I, I feel just a little bit bad for calling him gay. All right? Two reasons, right, why I feel bad. Because calling him gay is an insult to Freddie Mercury. Secondly, yo, he, he freaking got the Diddler's Diddy. He got the, yo, he got his fucking little Diddy dick. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my. Uh, I, I feel a little bit bad for Bieber. Just a little bit, man. In one instant, Busby says a boy who was nine years old at the time was taken to an audition with Bad Boy Records in NYC along with other young boys when he was assaulted. In the account, the alleged victim claims he was sexually abused by Diddy and several other. Who are these several others? Who were who were the others? That's that's the crazy part, right? On a promise that he will get a record deal, this individual was sexually abused, alleged by Sean Combs and several others at the studio. Busby. Explain how Diddy allegedly exploited the promise of a career advancement to, uh, to facilitate abuse. Alleged, alleged Diddy victim thought, uh, Talia Graves breaks silence, visibly emotional and breaking down at times. Graves accused Combs and another defendant of sexually assaulting her and recording in 2001. Yo, this goes back really far. Minor allegedly sexually assaulted after Diddy said he would make him a star. You want to be a star, don't you? Then take off your clothes. One alleged incident involved a 15-year-old boy who was told that Diddy would make him a star, but he, that he needed to have a visit in private first away from his parents. Yo, we know that. You, you know that shit was fucking Justin Bieber, man. Oh, we know that shit, Justin Bieber. Yeah, baby, baby, baby. Oh, oh shit. Busby says that the alleged victim claims Combs made him perform oral. Fifteen-year-old girl allegedly drugged, gang-raped, 
at Diddy Party. What the fuck, man? This guy is insane, dude. This guy needs to be locked up forever. I know that he might be Epstein, but here's the thing, though. There's too much out there. Here's the thing. The, th the thing between him and Epstein that's different is that it was Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell had all the, all the stuff. Versus Diddy, it was like a bunch of people knew. Holy crap. Another alleged includes a 15-year-old that was flown to New York to attend a Diddy party where she was drugged, taken into a private room with him. The woman claims Diddy and other individuals took turn raping her. This guy has no, no remorse. Diddy's alleged 1,000 bottles of baby oil freak off party explained. God, dude. Diddler is, oh my God, dude. Diddle me this. Diddle me that. Oh, who had the best parties? During a search for Diddy's home, I thought, oh, authority sees narcotics, AR-15s with defaced serial numbers, which is a, which is a uh, big felony. It's a ten years in, uh, $100,000 fine, 10 years in prison. And over 1,000 bottles of baby oil lubricant allegedly used for this freak-off party. 26-year-old woman picked up allegedly sexually assaulted by Diddy. A woman who was 26 years old at the time of the incident alleges that she was picked up from the airport by Diddy and several others in a black SUV. She claims, according to Busby, that she was given one drink before waking up the next day, not knowing what has happened, but with pain and damage to both private parts. The woman was allegedly taken to the hospital without underwear or shoes. Pregnant woman allegedly given lace drink. Look, I, I, I know like, like, I'm joking at some of these things, but this is fucking atrocious, man. Like, what stuff has been happening? This is crazy. In another incident, a woman says that she was allegedly attended a group dinner at Diddy's Miami mansion before she believes she was assaulted. She claims that she wasn't drinking at the time because she was pregnant, but she was allegedly given a laced drink and blacked out. She blacked out. She woke up with the same bed with Mr. Combs, adding her private parts were torn and sore. What the actual hell is happening, man? Diddy charge explained with the indi uh, indictment alleges uh, in a damaging, I'm uh, sorry, damning three count indictment. Diddy is accused of operating in an enterprise to fulfill his sexual desires and hosting freak off parties where he and his associates allegedly lured women and coerced them into sex acts. 22-year-old woman allegedly picked up, sexually assaulted by Diddy. In a separate incident, a woman who was 22 at the time claims Diddy saw her on the streets asked to and asked her to, to, to attend a party at a hotel. She then went to the party, was allegedly given one of the drinks, so messed up, she went to the hospital and found cocaine and horse tranquilizer in her blood. I could go on. I mean, literally, you are sensing a theme here. It's the same theme that involves... All some sort of drugs. Oh my god, dude. I wouldn't be surprised if there were underground tunnels. According to what I heard, uh, Diddy actually has a mansion near the Playboy Mansion or a house near the Playboy Mansion with underground tunnels. Oh my god, man. This is crazy. So Diddy gave them unwanted Diddy. Yo, man, Diddy do it. Yo, freaking the, the diddler. Oh my God. Man says, I quit the industry because of Sean, what Sean Diddy did to me. It's been one week since the arrest of Diddy comes on federal charges and living behind bars in the exact opposite of what he used to. The Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn is a place that's been described as hell on earth. Busby concluded with a quote from a very young man who shared his experience of what allegedly happened to him at the hands of Sean Diddy Combs and his friends during the effort to secure a record deal. He, uh, had he, Diddy, not been in power, I feel like I could have been something great. I quit the industry because of what Sean Combs did to me. The identities of the alleged victims are unknown at the time of Busby and says that plan to file the cases under a pseudonyms until the court orders otherwise. These allegations have been stirred significant controversy, prompting discussions on legal avenues and victims' protections in high-profile cases. 
This statement from Erica Wolf, attorney for Sean. Imagine being an attorney for this guy. As Mr. Combs' legal team has emphasized, he cannot address every meritless allegation. It has become a reckless media circus. That said, Mr. Combs emphatically and categorically denies as false and defamatory in any claim that he sexually abused anyone, including minors. He looks forward to proving his innocence and vindicating himself in court where the truth will be established based on evidence, not speculation. Well, I think LeBron James have been to some of these Diddy parties. Oh, hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Oh. Oh, no, dude, LeBron! Oh, man! Did LeBron's son go to, like, go, go to these party? LeBron, your son is on the Lakers now. LeBron James, your son is on the Lakers. Did you bring your son to these Diddy parties? LeButt James? Oh, my God, dude. Let's, let's, say, let's hear that again. Oh, hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, that's your son. <laughs> yeah. After federal agents raided the homes of rapper P. Diddy, a.k.a. Sean Combs, on March 25th, in connection with a federal sex trafficking investigation, oh, no. an old video of Los Angeles Lakers superstar LeBron James on Instagram Live with the rapper has gone viral. In the video, James can be seen, be seen, praising Diddy's parties, saying that there ain't no party like a Diddy party. The rapper's two homes in L.A. and Miami of the were raided by the Homeland Security on Monday oh, over man. investigations into allegation of sex trafficking against the 54-year-old. According to NBC, there are other allegations, including sexual assault, solicitation, and distribution of illegal drugs and firearms against Diddy. Man. Yo, Diddler on the roof. New leaked footage. Nah, that's probably fake. Holy crap, dude. Uh, let, let's see where this goes, man. I, oh, oh, this is Diddy. Diddy or didn't he? Oh, he definitely he did. He definitely did it. Oh, he did. He did. He did. Diddly with the Diddler. Oh my god, man. This is crazy. I wonder how many people he's tied to, right? Like, I wonder how many people, like, this, like, like, here's the thing. We know that 50 Cent knew what was happening. 